What's cracking, fam? It's Dubsky Dude here to present a tips video for playing my favorite game type in Halo Reach, Big Team Heavies. Some of these tips are specific to the game type, but some can be applied globally, so regardless of whether or not heavies is your shtick, I hope you can glean some valuable information from this video. So, let's get started. Number one, the plasma pistol. Never underestimate the plasma pistol. In a game type thoroughly dominated by vehicles, this weapon can quickly shift things in your favor. The plasma pistol can stop vehicles in their tracks, opening them up for a quick boarding or grenade sticking, and if you're close enough, you can pick falcons out of the sky. The plasma pistol can also be very helpful in close quarters, where an overcharged shot followed by a melee attack will net you an instant kill. But that's a filthy, disgusting, nasty maneuver, and you should never, ever, ever, ever attempt it. Only noobs do that. Number two, passenger tips. In heavies, never get in a passenger seat, ever. Riding shotgun, for any reason, is never worth feeding yourself to the enemy team's scoreboard. If you'd never shoot from the back of a mongoose, why would you shoot from the passenger seat of a hog? Even getting a quick lift is pretty risky. A full hog makes for an easy triple kill for the enemy team. Also, manning the turret on a tank is questionable at best, as DMRs or sniper rifles can easily pick you off. A tank turret's damage output does not make up for the fact that you are totally exposed. Number three, the Falcon. In heavies, never drive or ride in the Falcon. The Falcon is slow, predictable, and is extremely easy to kill. It is effectively a noob trap. Rocket launchers, plasma casters, Spartan lasers, tanks, goss hogs, and rocket hogs can easily kill a Falcon in one to two shots. Plasma pistols, sniper rifles, and regular warthogs can also kill Falcons with relative ease. If you have made the poor decision of boarding a full Falcon, know that at all times you're a fat flying triple kill waiting to happen. Number four, the Scorpion tank. At the beginning of the match, if you're the first one in the tank, Aim for the sky and wait a bit, because you're the one immediate check to Banshees and Falcons. Banshees can be particularly annoying, so taking them out can give your team a quick early game advantage. With or without an aerial threat, continue to hang back for the first minute or so of the match. Let the enemy team overextend with their own tank or goshog, which are the most immediate checks to your own tank, and being the tank that comes out on top is an obvious advantage. At all times, be ready to take out vehicles, for they shall inevitably respawn. Stray goss or tank shots from around the map can give you an early warning if a power vehicle is headed your way, so be observant. Playing defensively rather than aggressively can put pressure on the other team just as well. But be careful, because the longer you stay in one spot, the more likely a power weapon will be aimed your way, and there are a lot of power weapons in heavies. Being mindful of the surrounding terrain is essential. Open areas mean you and the enemy team have less cover, but greater line of sight. Areas with more cover allow you to pop in and out with your tank, but make it easier for an enemy to close the distance and board you. Both have their pros and cons, so be prepared. If you are boarded, immediately move to the nearest wall and shoot at it point blank in an attempt to kill your boarder with the splash damage. It'll hurt your tank, or even kill you, but an enemy boarding your tank results in instant death regardless, so it's worth a shot. I've actually saved my tank a time or two by doing this. Driving a tank with a mouse and keyboard is like pulling teeth. 343 Industries did a crap job with the controls in my opinion. Turning your tank around is especially obnoxious. It's like playing a game of hand simulator, so be prepared for that too. Number five, the hogs. At the beginning of a heavies match, if you're a hog driver, never drive headfirst out into the open. Remember, there's always a tank waiting to insta-kill you, especially at the beginning of the match, so try to hang back until the enemy power vehicles are taken care of. As a hog gunner, I've been killed more times than I can count due to impatient drivers. Concerning hog variety, Goss Hog turrets usually dish out one-shot kills against enemies on foot and are the most accurate of Reach's hog trio, but require good aim. Regular hog turrets take a bit longer to kill an enemy and are less accurate at longer distances, but are the most common hog type. Rocket hogs fire a slow spread of explosives, but are very inaccurate and are basically only reliable at taking out large vehicles and aircraft, and the occasional enemy on foot who didn't see you coming. If you're driving a hog, and you come across an enemy tank that doesn't look damaged, driving off instead of firing on it and attracting its attention in the process may save your life. 
Remember, it only takes one tank shot to kill a hog, and even splash damage from a poorly aimed shot can flip your vehicle. As a driver, driving straight at a tank is the worst thing you can do. But, if you find yourself near a tank, drive around it, as the tank's reticle may not be able to keep up with your hog. An experienced tank driver can still lead their shots, however. Be careful driving up or down inclines or around any kind of terrain outcroppings, because you can flip a hog simply by sneezing the wrong way. If you're out in the open and your hog flips, chances are you're already a dead man, so slow down where appropriate when the terrain is bumpy. A stationary hog is a dead hog, so hit and run tactics make for the best way to drive one, but if you pass through a crowd of enemies, sometimes taking a 180 and making another pass can take them by surprise. If an enemy you pass by the first time had a power weapon, then making another pass is, of course, ill-advised. So those are my tips for big team heavies in Halo Reach. If they've helped you, tell me about it in the comments. I'd like to hear about it. Oh, and feel free to share this video if you think other people could benefit from it. And don't forget to smash that like button. Whoa! And this has been The Dubsky Dude. Drive safe.